students would ever devise a problem like this. The reason why this problem is created is so therefore you don't pick your nails, but what you do is you practice some algebraic methods, all right? And a couple methods where we're going to practice today is using the distributive property and combining like terms. And then also having a variable on both sides. So really this problem is just some more extra practice for you. Whenever you see parentheses, the first thing you guys need to do, distributive property. Make sure you multiply the number outside parentheses to everything inside. So therefore, we now obtain 5n minus 42 minus 7n is greater than 4n plus 12. Okay? So that was the first step they wanted you to do. Do a distributive property. Now the next thing they want you to do is combine like terms. So I say, well, those two both share an n, so those are like terms. And I can't, and nothing else over there. So 5n minus 7n, negative 2n minus 42 is greater than 4n plus 12. So then, now we just need to get the variable on the same side. I like to get rid of the smaller of the two variables. Negative 2 is smaller than 4, so I'll add a 2n. Therefore, you have negative 42 is greater than 6n plus 12. Now I need to isolate my uh, variable, so I'll subtract 12, and I have 54 is greater than 6n. Now I have to get rid of the 6, I need to divide by 6 since it's multiplied by my variable. I have a negative 9 is greater than n. So I need to say what numbers are greater than negative 9? Well, that'd be like uh, negative 8, negative 7, negative 6. Right, zero, all the positive numbers. So if you were to draw a number line, and here was negative nine, and here was zero, and this was like negative 20, you know that a positive number, or any number to the right, is going to make this inequality true. So I make my nice big circle, it's greater than, it's not equal to, so it's an open circle, and since zero would make my inequality true, negative nine is greater than zero, go no. I'm not bad. I, wrote, I read this incorrectly. That's not going to go that direction. Let's go ahead and take this slowly rather than me rushing through it. This says negative 9 is greater than n, right? But guys, make sure you read it with your variable in front. n, which is going to the numbers that are going to make this inequality true, have to be less than negative 9. So which numbers are less than negative 9? That's actually in the other direction, right? So your graph's gonna look like that. Does anybody have any questions on why I reversed it? The why I showed you? Just make sure, guys, it's really helpful if you say it out loud. Always say it out loud with your variable first. That will help you understand it. Okay? Tips. Um, so what I'd like you guys to do is take out your compound inequalities worksheet. 